morning everyone. So if we find our mindful bodies sitting up straight and tall, rest our hands where we feel comfortable, or our chest or our belly, wherever works for you. Gently close your eyes and breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And just take a moment Check in with how you feel today. I'm tired, happy, joyful, worried, whatever it is. Just notice it. And know that it's okay. And breathe in. Breathe out. And keep your eyes closed as you listen to the sound of the bell. So it's day four of our bear breathing exercises. So I'm not even gonna prompt you. I'm going to let you do this. So find your hibernation bear spot. So whether it's laying down on the floor or sitting up or standing up, whatever's comfortable, just find where you'd like to hibernate. And you can rest your hands wherever you want, whatever's comfortable. And we're going to breathe in on a count of four, hold, breathe out. So you can watch me if it helps, but I'm not even gonna count, okay? So, starting now. So I encourage you to continue practicing your bare breaths on your own, and now you can even go up to five maybe. So, and you can just count to five and hold, okay? So today we're going to read our final Bernstein Bear book of this week. Tomorrow is a holiday technically uh, for me and as is Monday. So I will be back with videos on Tuesday, but today is Berenstein Bears go to the doctor. Take a deep breath, stick out your tongue. Come see Dr. Grizzly while you are young. <laughs> Dr. Grizzly in in. Tomorrow, said Mama Bear, as she helps the cubs get ready for bed, You'll be going to the doctor for a checkup. Doctor, said Brother Bear, we're not sick. And what's a checkup, asked Sister Bear. A little worried. It's just what it sounds like, said Mama. Dr. Grizzly will check to see if you're growing the way healthy cubs should. Will it hurt, asked Sister, pulling the covers up close. Now, now, said Papa Bear as he kissed her goodnight. You just settle down. There's absolutely nothing to worry about. But sister wasn't so sure. The next morning, after a good breakfast, the family got into their car and were on their way. Do you ever get checkups, Mama? Sister asked as they drove along the dirt road. What do you think Mama said? Yes, I do, Mama answered. I don't need checkups anymore, bragged Papa, because I, I, achoo, I never get sick. That was quite a sneeze, said Mama. It's this dusty road, said Papa, turning onto the main highway into Beartown. They pulled to a stop 
in front of the doctor's office. Come, Cubs, said Mama. We don't want to be late for appointment. But Brother held back. He remembered something. Are we going to get shots? He asked. That's up to, to, achoo! The doctor, said Papa, sneezing an even bigger sneeze than before. Bless you, said Mama. It's just this bright sunlight, sniffed Papa. I never get sick. Also, should he have sneezed like this? No, he sneezed like this. <laughs> the doctor's waiting room was a busy, cheerful place with pictures on the walls, books to look at, and puzzles to do. Brother started a puzzle. Sister took a book, but didn't really look at it. Other bears were coming in, and she looked around the room at them. There were cubs of all ages with their parents. Some of the smallest cubs looked a little worried. Sister smiled at them so they wouldn't be afraid. There was a big cub with a cast on his leg. It had funny names and drawings all over it. He let brother write his name on it for luck and sister drew a picture. There was even a little baby cub only a few weeks old. Next, called Dr. Grizzly. It was brother's and sister's turn. Dr. Grizzly was friendly, but she got right down to work. She had a lot of bears to take care of and not much time to waste. First, she weighed and measured the cubs. Fine, she said. You both gained weight nicely and you've grown taller. She listened to their chests with the stethoscope, listening to their heartbeat right here, and poked them all over to check on everything on the inside. Then Dr. Grizzly took each cub's temperature to see if it's normal. 98.6. Fahrenheit. <laughs> she checked their throats. They go, ah. Then she looked at their eyes, ears, and noses with a special light. Next, she tested their hearing by whispering very softly. Here. Then came the eye test. Brother read every letter except the very smallest. Right here. Those are pretty small. <laughs> Sister didn't know her letters yet, so she read a special chart that looked like this. Very good, said the doctor as she studied some papers in a folder. Sister whispered to brother, so far it hasn't hurt at all. Well, that pretty much takes care of it, Doctor said Dr. Grizzly, looking through her eyeglasses at all the papers, except for one thing. I see it's time for your booster shots. I knew it, said brother. Why do we have to have shots when we're not even sick, said sister. Now, sister, said Papa, the da, da, ha, choo! The doctor knows best. <laughs> Bless you, said Dr. Grizzly, and that's a... Very good question, sister. As she got the shots ready, she called out into the waiting room. I've got a brave little coven here who's going to show you all how to take a shot. What do you think? Getting back to your question, sister, said Dr. Grizzly. You see, there's some kinds of medicine that you take after you get sick, and those are useful. But this kind of shot is a special medicine that keeps you from getting sick. Will it hurt, asked sister. Not nearly as much as biting your tongue or bumping your shin, the doctor explained. There, all done. Dr. Grizzly was right, and it happened so fast that sister didn't even have time to say ouch. The little cubs who were watching were very impressed. 
so was brother. After brother shot, Papa said, well, doctor, we'll be go, 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 you. Again, did Papa cover his mouth? Nope. Almost did. <laughs> Just a minute, Papa Bear. Let me have a look at you. But I never get sick, said Papa. Hmm. Temperature above normal. Hmm. Throat is red. Hmm. Nose is all stuffed. Time for your medicine, Papa, said the cubs, offering him a big spoonful of the gooey pink stuff Dr. Grizzly prescribed for his cold. Well, said Papa, smiling weakly, I hardly ever get sick. The end. So I know a lot of us right now, we hear about this sickness and we think about doctors and shots and sometimes it makes us scared. And I know, that's okay. It makes a lot of adults scared too. But right now, just be grateful for our doctors that are out there working. We're very thankful for them. I have a lot of friends that are working in hospitals right now. And for all of those scientists that are making those shots for us, um, that will help us not get sick. So remember, love your family, stay connected, cover your sneeze <laughs> when you sneeze and cough. And I love you all and I will see you on Tuesday. So have a beautiful weekend. If your family celebrates any of the many holidays that are happening soon, enjoy. So, bye.